Last week, I touched the topic of saving your Dremel tool from the retiree bin by replacing the brushes. This week, I'd like to follow up on my personal top five Dremel uses. These aren't attachment specific, though I do mention the flex shaft. These top five are simply the things I find myself reaching for my Dremel for in order to create my wood art. Let's get started. Number five, metal cutting. Since I carve designs into the wood, whether it's raised up or deep down, sometimes I carve deep enough where the screws that hold the hangers in place are too long. I didn't ever think that I would be using my Dremel tool for more than power carving, but here I am using the Easy Lock metal cutting wheels at least once every month. There was once when I screwed through the front of Inzano's skateboard and I haven't done it since. I can't imagine having to spend the money right now on a million different lengths and sizes of screws in order to find the right size for my project. With the metal cutting wheels, I can just cut off the excessive length and call it good without compromising the integrity of the screw. Number 4. Drilling Holes with a Dremel Tool Twice so far, I have drilled holes into the edge of a piece of broken wood. Coincidentally, both have been on Russian olive. Look Within and Bound were specifically designed to be sewn back together, one with string and one with wire. Obviously, the control, or lack thereof, I would have with an actual power drill would have been next to none. The bits I needed to use were small. I'm talking like 1 16th drill bits here. Using the lighter weight of the Dremel tool with a super small bit was a miracle. Of course, because it's lighter in weight, I had to have a steadier hand, but I would rather have to go slow with a steadier hand than try to control a 1 16th bit in a power drill without leaving accidental indents on the surface of my art. I'd be lost without it. Number three, fine details. I have seen woodworkers and sign makers be able to do fine, sharp details with their routers, but I haven't quite accomplished that skill level yet. So for now, I use my dermal tool to go back in after I'm done routing. It has smaller bits and attachments that allow me to get down into the corners and create those sharp edges that I want, mostly for my text if I have some. I can use the router to get all of the big carving out, and it's so much easier for me to go back in with the 1mm burr and touch up what I couldn't get with the big router. I have honestly spent too many hours watching tutorials and informational videos on how to do fine details with a router, and I just end up tearing through the design. So, for now, I'm going to stick to my trusty Dremel tool to make it work. Like I said in my post about my router profiles, use the best tool you have for the job you need done. Number 2. Dremel Tool Flex Shaft Attachment The Flex Shaft Attachment. Well, this thing. I think it was created with artists in mind. It had to be. Not only does it take the weight off your wrist from the Dremel tool itself, but it also replicates the motions you use for a pencil. A fat, enlarged pencil, but a pencil nonetheless. It's magical. I can maneuver around anything and everything so easily, and every attachment fits like a dream. Sometimes I worry that I'm putting too much torque on it, but if I keep up with lightly greasing it after every 10 hours of use, I'm hoping it keeps it in tip-top shape. If I have any advice, it's to get the flex shaft tool if you plan on using your Dremel for any lengthy project. Number 1. Adding Final Texture My number one use of the Dremel tool is using it to create a multitude of textures. At first, I was almost obsessed with getting everything smooth and keeping it that way with hours and hours of sanding. But then I discovered that by thinking of the flex shaft as an overgrown pencil, I can add all of these beautiful textures. I can make the tree silhouettes look like rivers of bark. I can replicate sun rays, fur, shine, water reflection, all of it. With the right bit and the proper fluid of motion, textures seem practically endless. Instead of having to settle for flat pieces of art or using screws, nails, other out-of-the-box forms of unique texture, which I still do sometimes, I can just put a bit in and get to work. It's not a false statement to say that I wouldn't be able to get by without my Dremel tools. These top five examples are the perfect reasons as to why anyone considering the purchase of a Dremel should definitely take the jump. It may be small, but it's a powerhouse ready to take on the world if you give it a chance. Don't forget to check out my shop to see some Shadings creations. And guys, if you're looking for a brand for your wood art or whatever you need a brand for, take a look at custombrandshop.com. It's where I got my awesome brand and I suggest you do too. Use the link in the description to let them know you came from Shadings. You'll be supporting Shadings as we will get a small commission and you'll be getting an awesome brand from custombrandshop.com. Remember to use our referral link. Let me know what you have experienced with Dremel tools, and as always, I hope your week was incredible.